know what Super Bowls is? Something it's 58. <laughs> you know what 5 plus 8 is? 13. 13. What's Taylor Swift's album called? <laughs> 13. Yo! Dang! And guess what? Patrick Mahomes' dad got arrested for his third DUI, Chiefs by three. And, and he's facing Mahomes two to ten years, so... He ain't going to go for his third Mahomes. Super Bowl ring, too. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Break Room, episode 69. Mm-hmm. Guys, we forgot something very important last week. We forgot to send a special shout out to somebody who is near and dear to our hearts. Somebody from our childhood. One, Vince McMahon. <laughs> we want your people to know There's out no here. shout outs for Vince McMahon. We want everybody to know that Barbershop Break Room stands with McMahon. Mm-mm. Yes, we do. No, y'all stand. We, I, I stand away from that motherfucker. Either all of us or not. No, of us. none of us. Jordy, are you standing with McMahon? I stand with McMahon. We are standing. Barbershop Break Room stands with McMahon. The <laughs> is lying. I stand no, far away. There's no way he shat on her head. He did. Did so. I know we're a little late talking about this, but come on out, you. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the most ironic thing of all time? He has the infamous moment when he's uh, who was he talking to? You remember? Who, I don't who know who was the was. Y'all remember? I can't remember, dude. That was like, so come long. on out, you. Fist uh, was. Well, it's him now. Yeah, allegedly. Let's not get sent to cease and desist here. Allegedly. Yeah. Or defamation. What but, about um, when he took that lie detector test and uh, Hulk Hogan, was it Hulk Hogan that asked him? Somebody asked him oh, fuck if I he was, uh, he said, are you a pedophile <laughs> creep, rich bastard who only cares about himself? And he goes, no. And it popped up. He was lying. <laughs> so you think Vince McMahon's a pedophile? Then, and then he goes, okay, at least I'm not a pedophile. And it popped up wrong again. <laughs> hey, of all the diabolical storylines that have to do with wrestling, is this like one of the craziest stories we've ever heard come out about any celebrity, like in general? No. No? No. What's worse? You got Ben Benoit out. killed his wife and family. Okay, but that was a different situation. Though. He was not alive to like tell his side of the story. Like, what did they do? No, I'm just kidding. It's jokes. It's jokes. It's jokes. I'm joking. I'm joking. He had a severe case of CTE. Severe. Severe. But like other than Chris Benoit, even in other sports, is there anything where all oh, the dude that just killed his mom? That was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was wild. That's Did he get crazy. convicted of that like officially? He's in jail. So it was the Dolphins. Dude, I don't think he got invited. They, they put out a warrant for his arrest and he wouldn't turn himself in. Okay, so he killed his mom. That was pretty crazy. He had to shot. 26 women. That's pretty crazy. Nope, he did not. He prostituted. He sexually assaulted. He committed prostitution with 27 women. Okay. Um, oh, Aaron Hernandez. That's a pretty wild That's one. That's a pretty wild one. Should we rank these? Should Damn, we rank dude. the craziest moments in sports? Vince McMahon was talking to Triple H. That's what I thought. <laughs> no way. And, and tri- Triple H married his daughter. You think Triple H right now is like... <laughs> I mean, that moment was fake anyways. Let's be real. It's yeah. scripted. What's another yeah. crazy moment that we're not thinking of, Matt? Uh, it was a controversial what? one. Like in all of sports. Like we got Aaron Hernandez, double murder. We got the dude who just killed his mom. What's his name? Wasn't like Sergio Brown? Is that it? That's the name that popped yeah. in my head. I think his last name is Brown. I don't know about his first name. That sounds right though. Sergio don't sound like a black dude name. I don't know. Oh, I know what this sounds name is Sergio. Right. I'll look but, it up. Um, Aaron Hernandez, Chris Benoit, Sergio Brown. Who else are we forgetting about that? Did People getting wrong? killed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was indeed Sergio. Or Brown. oh my God, Zach Stacy. The most agree. Oh, Zach Stacy was wild. He got like no time for that. What about my, um, I don't want to say my dude. What about uh, Callum Winslow? Yeah, that was wild too. He was a homeless lady, right? What about, what about Dante Stallworth? You don't Stallworth? have to them. You just ask. A little bit of crack, she'd have been all right. <laughs> uh, is that, didn't he hit somebody on the highway? Is that Dante Stallworth? What about OJ? Nah, OJ was innocent. Henry uh, Ruggs. Found and innocent. Yeah, he's innocent though. Yeah. Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs is Ooh. pretty crazy. Wait, didn't Dante Stallworth get like no time too? No, the dude was on the, the dude was like on the free. He was walking on the freeway yeah. drunk. And then he hit him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he got like probation or something like that, or maybe nothing at all. Dang, those are your craziest moments. Oh, so he history. hit a drunk dude that was walking. Yeah, he hit a pedestrian. Oh, when was that? 
a while ago. Years ago. He was with the Browns. Okay. Yeah, he was with the Browns. <laughs> <clears throat> I wanted to make sure he didn't like take out Dwayne Haskins. Now, what about oh, Dwayne Haskins? Oh my god, this dude is crazy. <laughs> well, what was Dwayne Haskins doing? They said he was drunk walking across the highway. Uh all right. We're gonna go ahead and transition to something else. Fellas, we gotta talk about basketball. He got set up. We got a couple basketball storylines to talk about. I got one thing for the NBA. No yeah. way. Go yeah. off. Do your yeah. thing, 21. Go Did off, you guys King. see the All-Star Game court? No. Is it sweet? It's all glass with like LEDs underneath it so that like the animations they put on the court will really be there underneath the players. It's not like a TV animation. I feel like that would throw me off. I feel like that's going to be crazy. Like to the look court's going to be like all green during the three point contest and like white during the skills challenge. Somebody's going to have a seizure. Why white? Maybe. Uh, it's like the colorway of it. Oh. I don't know. It's like white and white gray, like speed. broken up. What? Yeah. That's dope. It looks super cool too. It just sounds I like. I thought that you guys already seen it, so I didn't like grab a picture of it or anything. But nah, I haven't you look seen it up, it. it's sweet. Did you see uh, uh, Katie and Steph? No, nah, what happened? They were just, it, it was like. It was like friendly, but they were like going back and forth. Oh, they were talking that shit shit? Not really. But they asked about Steph and Sabrina in the th- in mm. the shooting contest. You see, she said she's shooting from NBA. She goes splash too. <laughs> Sabrina did Sabrina. Oh, nice. I know. But like, so respect on her. Ke- uh Kevin Durant was like they asked him who's gonna win and he was like, I Sabrina's good and all, but like Steph's the greatest shooter of all time. Like right. I got Steph. And they asked Steph, they were like, hey, we asked KD, what do you think he said? He said, KD's an instigator. He probably took her. (laughs) But he really took Steph. And then they told KD, like, he said, said, you're an instigator. No, they out here starting shit. They trying to create a Yeah, So he was like, right. He was like, he was like, oh, he called me an instigator? Oh, man. I got Sabrina. Uh, let's not <laughs> mention Kevin Durant in any negative way on this show. Uh, we do not want T Durant at us again. So, uh, sorry. We don't want what's no his, smoke. What's his real name? T. <laughs> Stop playing, man. Tevin. Tevin. Is it really? I don't know. Y'all <laughs> both went with that? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, y'all see the Los Angeles Lakers on a three-game win streak. I know. That means absolutely nothing because they stink. But Are T- they on a three-game win streak? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, just, I just seen a video. Tony is his name, by the way. Tony Durant, yes. Um, Didn't they I just beat a, somebody? I seen a video Garbo? of them getting beat by yeah, the Hawks but, and LeBron walking away, and I seen it last night. So that I was like they lost five games ago. Yeah, no, they uh, they beat the Celtics without LeBron and uh, AD. Then they beat the Knicks without Randall and Adenobi. Yeah, they didn't have a lot of they people. They didn't have anybody but Jalen Brunson, essentially. And then um, they just beat Charlotte last night. Yeah, Charlotte. Hey, you know how I know LeBron getting old, though? It ain't the terrible hairline. It ain't the gray beard. This cat only dunking with two hands now. He did you, he had two dunks in that game. That was like like real like fire dunks. <laughs> Not one of them was the one handed tomahawks, bro. <laughs> the lift is gone. The explosion is almost gone. My dude getting old now. I mean, he did bang on Paul George with one hand. Not the Russell West, bro. Bro, my dude going <laughs> two hands for safety now, bro. <laughs> but I really wanted to switch to basketball to talk about one person and one person <clears throat> only. Dalton Connect. We're gonna go to that. <laughs> Doc Rivers. <laughs> Doc Rivers. What's their record? Coach. No, they started off 0-2. They're like 1-3. They're 1-3 and three now. And he's coaching the All-Star and game. And he is the Eastern All-Stars head coach. <laughs> what? I'm um, not a basketball fan. I, I don't know how. four games all season. Listen, even if it was Adrian Griffin, that's what I'm assuming it was. It was Adrian Griffin, and then they were just like, well, let's just keep it as the Bucks head coach. You can't make a dude who just, he hasn't coached him to those wins. They were first in the East or second in the East, but it wasn't because of him. Like, you got to just go with whoever is next up. Like, if it's yeah, the that's... Celtics that's in second place, you got to let Joe Mazzula coach that. You can't give it to Doc Rivers. That's yeah, Absolutely wild. not. Did they you act know? like they can't pull an audible, like, right. beforehand. Did it's you, not you like know? that shit is tomorrow. Right. They got, they got plenty of time. Doc Rivers has blown a lead in every yeah. single one of their losses, too. I think it was by an average of 12. Points. He didn't blow a lead, but the team did. Yeah. I don't know if he was calling timeouts like he should have been or what, bro. But when is the All Star game? Is it this weekend? Nah, probably not. No, nah, it's usually nah, like can't make around the Super Bowl. Wouldn't nobody watch that? Oh yeah, true, true, true. It's like two weeks, I think. Yeah, I think it's at the end of February. That's right. It's usually like right after Valentine's Day. Yeah, so probably like, like the that weekend week. after that. Yeah, because Valentine's Day like Wednesday that. this year, so it's probably that weekend. All Star game is always sweet to watch. Where is it at this week? Uh, year? Do we know? Isn't it Salt Lake 
or no? No, I think it was in Utah two years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, because they honored Carl Malone. <laughs> and everybody was like, the fuck? <laughs> Why are honoring? Come on out, you. <laughs> Carl Malone is not a. <coughs> uh, debatable. Allegedly. I just don't want, I don't want to get it. Oh, I guess we didn't put that in our list of yeah. wildest shit that's been done. That might actually, I think that has to go with number one. Yeah, 16th to 18th. So right after Valentine's okay, Day. Okay, yep, that weekend. Where um, is it at? I don't know. What's Dang. that? Oh, yeah. Indianapolis. Oh, Indy? Yeah. Y'all trying to go? It's only five hours. They've had it in three trash places in a row. Indy's sweet. That's like basketball mecca. Yeah, but like the thing is, is like. Cleveland, okay, Utah. That's Indy. what I'm saying. Like I'm talking like. Oh, well, I not like basketball okay. mecca. But like, like I mean like scenery and LA. things to do wise. Yeah. Like you think LA, you think Miami, you think anywhere in California and like stuff like that. Like hell, Texas. Like. Yeah, like Tennessee, they, Nashville, like you know what I mean. Like I know they don't have the they don't nobody plays in Nashville, but you could have it in Dallas, like Houston. They aren't having the All Star or the Pro Bowl in fucking Pittsburgh or Cleveland. That so. would be crazy. Yeah, like but even, they had All Star. Even week. though if it was in Cleveland, I heard All Star Weekend the, was cracking in Cleveland. The now. Pro Football Hall of Fame, yeah, is right there, so it would make sense. Yeah, but they would sure. never do it. No, nah, it's some Cleveland, players want to be out in like Hawaii and shit. Have you ever heard anybody say they're vacationing in Cleveland? No, exactly. Not even joking, no. <laughs> um, we got to talk about one guy, the real white slinging clasher, Dalton Connect from the University of Tennessee. Dog. I'm going to say it. That's a cold white boy right there, boy. Oh, my goodness. He didn't do, he didn't go crazy versus Kentucky. But I watched a couple games. <laughs> what happened, Jordan? I got a notification that says uh, from around the league. The consensus is that the Jets won't get anything higher than a seventh round pick for Zach Wilson. <laughs> I heard, I heard Joe go ah. tough, <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna put Trump blast Jordan. But uh, Dalton Connect, bro, is nice. Six eight, three level score. He get to the hoop, has a decent handle, a good shot. I think he's six six. Is he six six? Okay, I thought he was six eight. Dude's a bucket, bro. Like I watched him versus Florida, and if anybody who's watching has seen that game. Oh, he tore their mouths out, bro. Like, they had no answer for him. And, like, that's how I knew Kentucky would, like, lose that game. Because, like, I watched the way Tennessee beat Florida, and then I watched the way Kentucky ended up losing to Florida. I'm like, oh, there's no way Kentucky wins this game the way they played. Like, like I know it's not this team beats this team, so they're better. But, like, you could watch the way somebody wins and loses, and you're like, they're going to smack them. And I seen it, and I was like, but he didn't even go crazy. I was thinking in my head, like, they're not going to have an answer for this dude. He didn't even go crazy at all. Like He's so lackadaisical, too, like. Just kind of like get a bucket here and there. I was looking at something and they were saying that like they could see him being like, all of a sudden he's got 30. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what happened. Versus, like, I mean, Florida was different though. He was like, I think he scored 12 straight by himself, like just going off. But I was reading something that said that they could see him being like the number one overall pick. And I seen him play South Carolina, I think it was. They lost, but like he was having a bad game in the second half and then it got to like. I don't know, four minutes left or something. This dude had like 13 in a row, almost yeah. brought him back. Yeah, like, he's a microwave. Bro. But he was having a bad game. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, yeah, he's a microwave. Bucket after bucket yeah. after bucket. I was like, oh my yeah, God, he's, one he's them, snapping. He's one of them cats. Like, I don't want to compare him to J.R. Smith, but like when you think <coughs> of microwaves, you think J.R. Yeah, yeah. Smith. I mean, even Nate Robinson was a little microwave, bro, where he'll come in and hit 3 3 straight. Jamal Crawford, microwave. You know, like he reminds me of that play style where like, he sees one go in, and you're like, oh, boy. Here come, yeah. oh, there's 12 straight. Call a timeout, coach. Right. But I was looking at it. I don't know how much college y'all watched this year. I've been watching a lot of college uh, so far since the NBA's garbage. Um, yep, I said it. Um, I don't know who the hell the number one pick is. Like, I've been watching it, and I'm like, who is, like, the consensus? Like, everybody's like, this guy is number one. Mm-hmm. Like, I watched Hunter Dickinson last night, Kansas versus Kansas State. Well, I State. know who it's not. Who? Tony Durant. Townsend alone. Um, Zach Eady, there's no way. He'll probably be in Europe. I don't, I don't see Zach Eady making it to the league, to be honest. He's so slow. I know he'll Nick he'll make it too. for now and then not do make. anything. Yeah. You think he gets drafted, like, high? Like, you think he's a first-round pick or a lottery pick? <sighs> probably. You think so? But I don't think he's going to pan out. Ah, he's just too slow. Yeah. Like, I watched him pull, like, pull him away from the hoop ball screen, and, like, he's just, like, knees locked, stuck. He couldn't do anything. And then, like, I watched Hunter Dickinson last night, your boy, Michigan Fuck him. alum. Um, Fuck him. He's another dude, man. Slow. Can't really move that well. Like, I know they said that, like, he's agile and stuff, and I'm watching the game, like, 
Bitch, where? <laughs> he wasn't moving at all. But like, I was trying to think. I was really sitting here thinking, like, who is, like, the number one pick? Dude from Duke is nice. Uh, Pulowski. Pulowski, or, yeah, that's yeah. his name. Yeah, Pulowski. Yeah, he's not He's not bad. Um, RJ Davis been turning up, though. Yeah. UNC, look, he put the beats on uh, Duke. Duke hasn't been good. Like, yeah, I watched that whole game. Is Duke done? Like, they haven't been, like, good in, like... Nah, they're all right. Like, I mean, like, Duke good. Not, like... Not ranked good, but like yeah. Duke good. Like Kentucky hasn't been Kentucky good. Yeah. But I don't know. I know uh, Jordan's like, all right, bro, let's get well, off of this uh, college basketball talk. <laughs> there is one thing on college basketball that I wanted to talk about. Talk to me. Kansas State beat mm-hmm. Kansas last night. Yep, I had Kansas. By what, five, I think, something like that. Yep, I had Kansas, money line. Um, did Didn't you hit. see the Kansas State head coach telling the crowd not to rush the court? No, I didn't. Yeah, he was like going like this, like don't rush the court, stay, like please stay. Do you think that's more of a power move for nobody to like go crazy over that than it is for them to all rush the court? I mean, I feel like rushing the court is like the ultimate, like. But like, what will make you if you were a player on Kansas? What would make you like hurt more if they like treated it like the Super Bowl or treated it like just another win? We don't give a fuck. I mean, just another win is a mind fuck. It's like yeah, I think that's why the coach celebrate. was doing it. Like, oh yeah, you're not gonna celebrate beating us. Yeah, you know, but the number four ranked team in the country. But like, imagine like you know, you lose the game, game you're supposed to win. I mean, they were only four and a half point favorites, so it wasn't like it was supposed to be a blowout. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's know? a rivalry. Exactly. And um, but like, imagine you're walking to the locker room and it's just all of these fans just bumping into you. It's like that's frustrating, bro. Like yeah. you're just trying to get to the locker room and there's people everywhere. Like yeah, I don't know why the coach was like telling them to stay. Like the real reason, but it was probably the Caitlin uh, in Caitlin my Clark head, thing. It's like a, a mind fuck. It was probably the Caitlin, uh, Caitlin Clark thing since she got ran over and everything. They were probably like, no way he made it. No way you made it. Everybody. Derek is out of court. I'm just going to wonder. Did you beat the charges? I have something to say. (laughs) Boy, you are blurry. Blurry, blurry? Blurry, blurry. I'll fix it, but I have something to say. You ever been inside a federal (laughs) (laughs) Being broke did something to my spirit. (laughs) (laughs) That's all I have to say. You beat the case? Uh, plead, pled guilty, but only had to pay a fine. So you were supposed to plead no contest. Yeah, but, the, but he rolled it no contest. Oh, okay. So, but so you had one of the best lawyers in all of Ohio telling you not to plead no contest. The one dude, I was it Beatrice. I'm not gonna lie, I don't yeah. know what that meant. No contest. It's not pleading guilty or well, not he, guilty. I mean, they explain it, but at the time, I was like, I don't know what the fuck that means. Dang. So you good now? Yeah. What's your fine? Only like 120. Oh, easy, oh, bro. bro. Hey, speeding ticket. You know what? We so happy. For you, <laughs> I bro. paid more for a speeding ticket. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're so happy you beat the allegations. We will cover the 120 for you. It's on barbershop break. Sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Good job. You said it's on clientele. Em- employees too. Good job. I know. Look at you, dork. All right, boys. Yeah. Let's get into a little bit of NFL talk. Um, I'm glad Derek is here for this topic. Um. So, yeah, you got to miss all the uh, NBA talk. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys about a website that we love. DHgate. I have to take a sh- Ah, uh, You should have went before. I should have. Uh, I want to talk about DHgate, fellas, because... Um, I don't know if we're allowed to. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We're not promoting it. This is not an ad. This is actually like a one-star review, technically. <laughs> just out loud. Um, For one of the suppliers. They fucked me. <laughs> I could tell. I wore this jersey on purpose today because this is a jersey from DH Gate. And uh I just they just can't get it right. I've ordered three jerseys from DH Gate. I don't um, do the N A I don't do the NFL. I am no four. I'm one for four on good jerseys. My kids got like five good jerseys. Yeah, I feel like it's because it's smaller. <laughs> like, you know, it's less material. Less room for error. But I wanted to ask y'all. And like, you know, TikTok this up because I'm sure there's a lot of fans out there that don't really like spending like there was a lot of people in the comment section of that jersey video being like wearing another man's name on the back of your jersey is crazy. Yeah, so like wild. so like I know dudes who do that don't really want to spend one hundred and fifty dollars on a no name jersey. So what is the worst jersey you've gotten from DHgate? 
Jordan, go. That JJ McCarthy. No, that the cow. That, is cool. Oh no, the cow jersey. Who's so the cow? Blake it was Corum? supposed to be. It was supposed to be more yellow. I would say it's probably the worst one I've got. You think that's the worst one? I was just trolling. You think that's, that's the, worst, the one? worst one? It's either that or I know the John Moran I got is from there. And that's that not that bad though. Ah. The basketball jerseys don't end up. The that basketball bad. jerseys aren't bad. The color. If you like, <coughs> are standing next to somebody that's wearing a real like throwback uh, Grizzlies jersey, the color of the jersey is the wrong color completely. What about when Derek got the one with the wrong number? <sighs> wrong number? No, that the, was Ty. The Jimmy Butler. Oh, wait. No, no Jimmy Butler. Up, no, that, that was the right, right. That Yeah, you guys thought right. it was the wrong number. Yeah, because right he, he was the different number in uh, Philly. That's why. Oh. The worst one I had was a North Carolina Jordan jersey. No. Bro, the Jordan logo looked like Shaq. That wasn't the worst one. No, that was the worst uh-huh. one, I think. No. You're talking about... No, 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 no. That no. wasn't from DH Gate, though. That was some, from a dude that we... Swapped. Where do you think he got it from? The Browns one. Where do you think he got it from? He probably got it. Well, I didn't get it from. (laughs) Tell tell everybody about that Miles Garrett jersey, bro. Like you look at Dante's jersey right now. You put Dante's jersey right now. Look at it. Don't do that to me. The two orange stripes on his on his left and right were completely different colors. It was like both sides of brown and orange. Yeah, it was pretty bad. What about the Odell you got? Okay, so that orange is way off. Way so off. So that, that's one. So I only order fake football jerseys. Like, I buy real basketball jerseys because, like, when I buy football jerseys, it's most of the time Browns players. And let's be real, as a Browns fan, they're not going to be there next year. Yeah. So, like, I don't want to spend the money on a real one. Like, my wife got me a Baker Mayfield stitch one that has, like, his signature stitched on it. Like, everybody always asks me if it's signed. He left the next, uh, two years later. Like, so it's like, yeah, that was like $180 jersey. So, like, I don't like buying real football jerseys no more. So, like, I ordered my son some jerseys from DHK, you know, for Christmas and everything. And I ordered myself a Miles Garrett one. Knew it was a chance. It was a risk, you know. And, uh, yeah, dude, they fucked me again. <laughs> they, they got me again. Uh, my collar's fat. Um, the numbers are actually the right shade, though. I found that out. This yeah. is the color that it's supposed to be. It's a different orange than, like, the stripes. Well, what are we doing here? What? what why is this, like, like this material? Like, is it, this ain't supposed to be like this, is it? Yeah, nah. I mean, if you go to a game, what who's going to know? Is it? It's like... Like, it's almost like felt. stitched? It's like like terry cloth, low key. <laughs> like, that's so... It's not... You it's like a rag. It. It, it's like a microfiber towel. <laughs> <laughs> you can clean the inside so of your So, my TJ Watt jersey I got I, from I Fanatics, though. I can see it. Though. I don't like that feeling. Come here. Uh-uh, I don't like it. He said, I don't like it. My TJ Watt jersey that I got from Fanatics has the sleeves like that, and it's like not a real jersey, but it's through it's like from the Fanatics, actual though. Fanatics. So website. maybe this is supposed to be like so that. So some of them have like that. Other ones, it's just like that tacky, like press on shit. Well, I don't know. I want y'all to uh, let me know in the comment section. Rank this jersey from one to 10. One being the absolute worst and 10 being the best. Uh, Matt, what's your worst jersey you got from the gate? Uh, That Deontay Johnson one by far. Oh, yeah, that one is bad. I it had know, these. It had these random patches on it. The yellow. The numbers were like this big. <laughs> the numbers were tiny. I. The numbers were small. The yellow was off. It was supposed to be like our color rush ones. Yeah. It had like these random patches up here, like the DMR patch, the Rooney patch. Mm-hmm. I watched that bitch one time. All the patches fell off. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. It was terrible. I dude. just wasn't expecting that. Uh, what about Ty? Your though? fucking Nike sign is backwards. Bro. I'm just kidding. Yo, you made me look. <laughs> uh, shout out to my dude, Ty. You made, you really made me look at both of them. Ty. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't going to put out his government gang, uh, name. Good friend of the show, though. Um, he ordered a gang of Pittsburgh oh. jerseys. Yeah, there you go. Um, I, lo- and I was lost for a second. One, the NFL logo, or the Steelers logo, was upside down. It was upside down. <laughs> like it, so the the colors were like upside down, like in oh, your the, stars, like the diamonds, yeah. yeah like, but the, it was flipped. So, like, if you would have just turned it, <laughs> it would have been right. So, essentially, it was, <laughs> it was upside down. <laughs> but like, even this, look at the stitching inside of the NFL, bro. Look how bad that is. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But so I feel like we're gonna get flamed for talking about buying fake jerseys, but I. I, I don't buy real jerseys anymore either. Because every time I buy a player's jersey that's current, they don't stay. I buy real NBA jerseys, but I don't rock, I don't buy real NFL jerseys. Because, like, so going back to that video, a lot of people said, like, it's cool to buy any NBA jersey. It's not really, like, you're not a fake fan if you just buy a John Morant Grizzlies jersey, but you're a Cavs fan. Like, I guess that's more normal in basketball. Like, I have a lot of throwback jerseys. 
you know what I mean? I got a Larry Bird. I got a Kareem, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. And then, like, I have a LeBron and stuff. But all my basketball jerseys are real except for one. Uh, I bought from DH Gate. It was a LeBron uh, Lakers jersey. It was the black one. And uh, I think oh. I got one wear out of it. What about the Carmelo? That one's good. That's a good one. That one wasn't bad at it's all. It's not real, though. No, that one's not real. No. Oh. Um, I forgot about that one, though, until you said that. Um, the LeBron, though, garbage. The numbers <laughs> faded. Like, as soon as I watched it one time, the numbers were, like, whitewashed after that. Remember that jersey Chris bought you? This cat bought me a Black Panther edition <laughs> LeBron jersey. Like, when you flip it inside out, it's just it's just white. Like, the thought was nice, though. Like, he's a LeBron fan. And he's like, oh, this jersey hard. Dante would like this. But, like, I'm going to wear it next week. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware he's next trying week. to twin with you. We twin though. We wore twin that flame. night. But like that jersey's garbage. <laughs> it really is. I'm gonna wear it next week. Can we all wear fake jerseys next week? I don't have any more. I threw them away. Come on. Bro. Or my Jimmy Butler one. It's Does nice, it count bro. if I just wear a jersey of a dude that's not on the team anymore because I bought it and then he left? No way. Immediately. Who is it? Juju. Oh. <laughs> I have a Juju jersey that I got like. Three weeks before the season was over, and then he left in the off season. <laughs> Juju on that beat. Maybe you should like time then, it a little better. So like then by I bought, going into well, the I bought a fake Kenny Pickett jersey at the start of the year. Thank God it was fake. <laughs> it, does it look good? Yeah, it looks good, but he don't <laughs> <laughs> wear it. He said he wear don't. it. <laughs> Jordan, that's what you know. I'm proud of you. That was good energy. I like that. Go wear ahead. it. Yeah. Wear, yeah, it. wear it next don't. week. Wear it. Hey, we are all wearing fake jerseys next week. I don't week. have any more. We'll I'll you get one. you one. Yeah, we'll get you one. You I have an extra one. We, we got you one. Uh, listen, I'll give you the Black Panther LeBron. Nah, one hell no. <laughs> nah, I got it. So, you with the Odell? Oh, no, I have Caruso. Oh, that one's good, though. We got that in the same package that mm. I bought. Uh, the Mellow, right? That's all I got left. Isn't it good, though? Yeah. Oh, nice. So just to add on top of this, the best fake jersey that I've ever gotten is my Sidney Crosby jersey by far. Yeah, that's a but lot of material. They like, messed that up? No. You got it from the gate? I don't know where I got it from. I got it when I was a kid, but um, it was ordered from one of them like fake websites. I have no idea where. I'm assuming DH gate, but that bitch is tough. I don't think I've like, ever It's got, got everything a like a real, like not even like a jersey you would buy at the store, like what they would wear while they're playing. I don't think I've gotten a really good. I think the Jimmy Butler one isn't bad at all. Wear it next week. I'll wear my mellow because I think that's. I think a good it's stained one. because of parties and shit, but I never washed that it's shit. <laughs> Y'all so fried. All right, boys, we got to get into like straight uh, beer. We got to get into a little bit of a uh, NFL talk. Fast. The NFL awards. I mean, listen, Eric B. Enemy. Uh, yeah, he's actually my topic, and I just have his name. So before we get to awards, we can talk about it, man. Uh, what's wrong with Eric B. Enemy, bro? There's something like there's something we don't know. You think there's something like undercover? Hundred percent. He must be terrible with player like like talking to his players or dealing with them or something like undercover brother. Like everybody was saying the year after he left KC, he was gonna be a head coach. And then and yeah. then he was a OC took, again. Took a coordinator job at on the one of the worst teams in the NFL right now. Yeah, when I knew a team that really needed one. You know, uh, well let, let's talk about it though. But what do you all think it is? Like, what's wrong with Eric being to me? Like, is it a power struggle? Is he bad with, like, players? Like, what do we think it is? How the fuck are we supposed to know? Well, that's why it's an opinion. Like, what do you think? Like, it's speculation. It's assumptions. Something's fucked up. Yeah. We ain't going to know what it is. Pinpoint it. We don't maybe, know. Maybe he's a racist. Maybe, maybe he just don't like white players. being racist. Maybe his owner's being racist. He, uh, the commander's the NFL ownership. is racist. Remember yeah, that video we had? The commander's uh, ownership, though, is like, I'm pretty sure, like a good portion black. They just sold the team, like Magic Johns is an owner and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So, I, don't I, know. I mean, I could see Magic hating black people, though. I think he got AIDS from a white woman. Fuck. Poor man. That was a complete assumption, allegedly. Allegedly. It was like a hundred of them. I have no clue who he got <laughs> HIV from. <laughs> I have no clue. Could have been a monkey. <laughs> Do you think he knows? <laughs> Why a monkey? Is that, that where it came from? Was race. No, didn't I HIV think that come is from technically monkeys? where they said like AIDS came from? Oh my fucking from, was God, it we're fucking... so fried. Is it from monkeys? I'm pretty sure. Oh my <laughs> Google God. TikTok, is HIV <laughs> from monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you guys suck. It sounds really fucked up. I didn't but mean I'm it that sure way, that, like, but. That's what it originally came from. You ever seen that black dude turn on the little toy with his kid? Give me more. It was like a little toy, and he turns it on, and it comes on and says, 
hey there, monkey. <laughs> the dad just looks at it like, you got to throw that away. <laughs> you got to throw that away. Like if DJ had to throw it like that, that's going to the trash uh, can. Shit. But don't uh, koala bears carry like chlamydia? Yeah, yeah. something like that. Something yeah, they crazy carry like that. Like crazy too. They look cute, but we're getting we'll carried away. Diseases. You know somebody that used to we're carry getting the carried away here. Eric Bieniemy. <laughs> <laughs> so where do we think Eric Bieniemy is going? I already have an answer. That's why I asked that question. You go. Let me hear your. I answer. have no clue if they even have. Oh no, they don't the have Raiders. Seat because they lost them. The Raiders. Him and Antonio the Pierce Raiders. about to hit Cliff Kingsbury. Uh, <laughs> they about to hit one of them. You know I don't know I mean? if Mark Davis will let there be two black people on like you don't that have a head of the coach. Pierce stuff. got he got he got a little bit of power right now. He can start demanding stuff. Yeah. He got the players behind him. I don't know if he could demand you, yet. He got players behind him. Like, you know when yeah. a black oh yeah when, when the whole team's behind you it's over. You know when like a black dude walks into the shop and they see me first and like they look around and see all white people and they hit me with one of these, like. Got me, yeah. and I'm like, I'm booked. One of them got you. Like that's what Eric B. He got you. <laughs> right. That's what Jordan's Eric B. like. Antonio Pierce hitting Eric B. Into me with the. You got me. What's up, Jordan? <laughs> lunch. I gotta go to lunch. Um, Jordan, it's ten fifteen. All right, boys. Hungry. Let's talk about the NFL awards. I want to. Just us try to guess who we think is going to win. Not who we want to win. Not who we think deserves it. Who do you think, betting money, who do you think wins this award? So. What is that noise? They're probably doing some work. It's out outside. There. They're doing some. Why do you rip your headphones off like that? <laughs> they just kind of extracted like that. So let's move through this fairly quick so we can get to some NFL, uh, some <laughs> Super Bowl talk. But Well, I got one more thing to <laughs> after this that's NFL. Okay. Uh, MVP. Shut up. Didn't even say anything. MVP. Shut up with that look. I think it'll be Lamar. NFL. MVP. I got all the awards right here. It's already leaked. MVP. Probably Lamar. MVP. Lamar Jackson. I think Lamar wins MVP too. The controversial one. They have to. Defensive player of the year. There's been a lot of controversy around hmm. this award. Hmm. Jordan shaking his head. Who do you think is going to win? Not who you want to win. Not skip. Skip. Deron Bland. That's he. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Jordan. Who do you think is going to win? It's on Derek, bro. I skip. Go, bro. You got to tell us. An just go, bro. Don't do it. On Miles Garrett. It's Miles Garrett. An undeserving player. It's think? already leaked, bro. It's TJ. Who do you think is going to win? TJ Watt. Okay. I think Miles Garrett is going to win as well. I'm not saying I want him to win. I'm not saying he deserves it. I'm just saying I think he's going to win. I called it. <laughs> Offensive player of the year. I think this one will be unanimous, right? <laughs> what do you know? Who you on? I'm still on Dante. Go. You. Just go, bro. Don't do it. Is it CMC? That, that's why you asking. Is it going to be Puka? Or is it going to be Tyreek? Or is it going to be Tyreek? There's Christian McCaffrey. Options. I'm going to take CMC, but. Christian McCaffrey for sure. Yeah, the white dude. White guy. White running backs matter. I'm going with CMC as well. Puka is not even a finalist. I mean, Tyreek Hill, if he would have got 2,000, I think, I think he would have got it. Hmm? I said, I think if Tyreek would have got 2,000 yards, they would have gave it to I him. I think if he would have played one more game, if he didn't have to get hurt he got in hurt one, in game, one game. Yep. What was it? Would, the Titans game, right? Wasn't that the game he got hurt? He would have had like over 1,800. Yep. Um, offensive rookie, uh, offensive okay. rookie, of offensive the year. rookie of the year. There you go. Now this you, is a tough. Now you battle. can mention what you just yeah, said. But this one's tough too. Puka and CJ. Mm -hmm. I think they'll give it to CJ just because the awards like quarterbacks more. But mm -hmm. he's quarterbacky. He's quarterbacky enough. He's definitely quarterbacky enough. Do we see his throwing the, the Pro Bowl? Quarterback position matters way more than the receiver position. So Absolutely. they're gonna. And he played better than Puka. Yeah, he did. So Puka broke the record. I yeah, but for rookie receiver. Like a, played better. I think CJ played yeah. better. <laughs> oh, for sure. So it's gonna go CJ. I know you broke the record, but uh, it just yeah. sucks that you did it this year, man. CJ took <laughs> I'm a, sorry. What, a two win team to the yeah. you know to the wild card. Yeah, no, yeah. they won the division, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. won the division. Well, tied, a, but yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, you took a two win team and won the division, so yeah. that's kind of hard to compete with. Right, I'm gonna go CJ. Yeah, I'm going. Even CJ though that's too. not good enough for coach of the year for hey, you, but about time we got one though. What? Ohio State. Oh, yeah. About time we got one. A good quarterback? <laughs> well, like, because, like, that's two, to like two, and, two and two win team to win the division is sweet enough for CJ, but not for the coach of the year. Let's talk about it. Coach of the year. 
We forgot defensive rookie of the year. We'll get there. Oh, okay. You you brought up coach of the year, so we let's go. Because you're. <clears throat> you said what? Huh? You hmm? said because what? what? You hate her? What? Wow. I'm not hating, man. D'Amico Ryan's had a phenomenal season. I just feel like there is a coach that deserves it more. He did have a good season. I think that just because going through the four quarterbacks throughout the season, that they're going to give it to Stefanski. Yeah, I say Stefanski deserves it. He already won one before, so I don't know if in the back of their heads they're like, ah, he already got give one. Him another one. You know what I mean? Um, I still think he just Ron twice. Yeah, well, and um, Bruce Arians got it twice as well. So I think Stefanski deserves it more just because what he was dealt with. Mm-hmm. You know, week two lost his main running back, and then throughout the whole season, what five different quarterbacks to yep. start. And as Matt said, we won't count Jeff yeah. Driscoll because he was last game of the season. Yeah, so that doesn't count. Four. But yeah, four. So still. either way, you it's Kevin Desvan- Kevin Stefanski. Kevin Desmansky. Is that what you're about to say? Matt. I'll riot if Kyle Shanahan wins it, number one. <laughs> He's not gonna win. He don't deserve it. He's, He's in the finalists. He got the But that's he trash. He, he got a, to be a he got a God squad over there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, we can coach that team. Now let's not punish them for the talent that they have, guys. I'm not punishing him. I'm just saying. Fuck them. Okay, I'm gonna either go. You gotta go one. There's no either. Matt and I had the one and two. I know it's D'Amico yeah. or Dan. I don't know. Dan who? Campbell. Cam. Dan ain't winning it. <laughs> I forgot this was your opinion. It's who you think is going to win, not who you want to win. I'm not. I'm not saying there, who you I think want those to win. are the final two. No. I'm asking yeah. him. Yeah. I'm answering for him. <laughs> I do. I actually, I do. Who are you choose out of those? D'Amico. Two? Okay. <laughs> this nigga's a hater. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is crazy. How many How? minutes are we Go in? ahead we and uh, find that, that, find that uh, timestamp. Yeah. Um, I want to turn this into its own TikTok, but who do you think deserves Coach of the Year more? Kevin Stefanski, D'Amico Ryans, or Dan Campbell? We'll throw that in there. There's a lot of people who you can have honorable mention, Matt LaFleur, stuff like that. But who do you think truly deserves Them Coach of the not Year a finalist most? either. And remember, this is a regular season award. Not There's playoffs. A, don't count playoffs. Like I know Dan Campbell went all the way to the NFC Championship. Yep. I know D'Amico Ryans went head to head and beat Stefanski. But and LaFleur went and beat the Cowboys. But LaFleur is not a finalist. I'm just saying. He can get fucked. I'm, I'm asking everybody who they think deserves it. Deserves they don't it. have to be a finalist. So. Now you're asking everybody what they think. Did DeMico fuck what beat, I think. Yeah, fuck what you think. So the Texans beat the Browns regular season? No, they, no, but CJ didn't play, though. Case Keenum played. Oh, that's right. So it's like, it was skewed. Like that, Are we, I, I'm not going to say it didn't count, but... We're doing it for the TikTok, though? Yeah. I think D'Amico Ryan should win it. Okay. Who do you think should win it, Derek? Should? Should. Kevin Stefanski. Would. Matt, who do you think should win it? Kyle Shanahan? Fuck no. I'm shocked you I think D'Amico Ryans will win it and should win it. I think what Stefanski did was that was that was crazy. You shouldn't have to go through you're losing your running back and four quarterbacks. I get that. <laughs> Just happened the wrong year. How's that taste? How's what taste? Like giving the Browns that much credit. The hatred in your mouth. It's okay. It's not. It's not hatred. <laughs> Does it taste like the shit that's going to come out of your ass in 20 minutes? Nah. I'm like just saying. Talk about three I, I just think it happened in a bad year. Like D'Amico Ryan just literally just took a rookie quarterback with two uh, and a two win team to win the division. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I still think Kevin's story's better. <laughs> just do. What's our next award? Coach of the year. Uh, when did they start? Um, oh yeah, or defensive. We got to go back to defensive, defensive rookie. rookie. Hey, don't they do like a like assistant coach of the year too? Now is yeah. that an award? Jim yeah. Schwartz is a finalist, baby. <coughs> oh. Jim Schwartz. Yeah, Jim Schwartz is a finalist. He's gonna get it. He I think win. he's gonna get it. Yeah, he might defense. win that because of the defense. He should. Yeah. That defense was unreal yeah. until the playoffs. Um, all right, uh, defensive rookie of uh-huh. the year. I know Will Anderson has a really good, really good, a good case. Year. Yeah, he had a good year. I'm gonna you, go want, Will you want the finalist? No, I'm going to take okay. Will Anderson. I'm gonna I mean, if you want to give the finalist, but I'm still going Will Anderson. Okay. I'm going to say who I said in the beginning, Jalen Carter. Who is it, Jalen Carter, Will Anderson, and Devon Witherspoon? Kobe Turner and Joey Porter Jr. Joey Porter Jr. had a good year. He did. He had a good year. Joey Porter might be... In the top conversation, if he started, 
Yeah, if they would have let him. He's not. Him. Yeah, he's not going to win it. No, he's he didn't just have a enough finalist. Yeah. Who are you thinking? <sighs> I, number one, it kind of blows my mind that uh, what's his name, Brian Branch. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised he's not on here. But maybe he didn't do anything, do a lot statistically. But I feel like anytime I watched a Lions game, He's he was player. he was involved. It's the only defense. player in the secondary that can do anything. Yeah, yeah. I think their right. secondary was so bad that like he, he was only try- heard his name. Yeah, he was trying else. to hold that shit together. <laughs> yeah, nobody else could. It was him and Hutch and Anzalone. You heard his name a lot too. I think I'll go Will Anderson. Uh, I'm gonna go Jalen Carter just because, kind of like what we were saying about Brian Branch. I think uh, the Eagles secondary was so pitiful this season that the only bright spot on that defense was the defensive line and uh which is crazy they got names yeah they do and like i mean fletcher cox is getting older jordan davis isn't like and they traded for names too and that just didn't help Mm -hmm. and like jordan davis isn't like panning out the way they were like hoping he played good but like he's not doing what they thought he would do and uh i think jalen carter was really like one of the bright spots uh bright spots of that defense so i'm going with jalen i think jalen would have won it if he would have caught that snap (laughs) When he, or the the, uh, the spike, yeah. the spike, yeah. And what's so we need to go around for comeback player of the year. I mean, okay, this is one where it's like, okay, who yeah, we think is gonna win, absolutely. But, all right, who do we think is gonna win comeback player of the year? Not <laughs> who we want, who we think. We Demar have. Hamlin. Demar Hamlin. That's who you think's gonna win. Demar yes. Hamlin's going to win. Yes. Who you got? That's why I asked if we have to go around the room. Joe Flacco. Coming I wouldn't be mad. Is better I would not be mad at Baker Mayfield. I think Baker Mayfield. I would wins not it. be mad if Baker wins it. I think Joe wins it just because of the circumstance. But Baker has just the same. I think Baker story, wins kinda. it. I don't understand how you could give it to Joe for six games. I mean, under I, the situation that the team was under, that's why. But Baker last year, what he went one and six on two different teams. So that's like the argument for him. Dog he, one, he was one, barely. He was on barely on a team. I know he. And his record was like one and six. The only game was the Rams where he had that game winning drive. He's hanging on by like his last finger. And now he can get paid, and yeah, and baby. Shout out to Baker, man. Hell of a performance at the uh, the Pro Bowl too, man. I'm happy to see him winning. A Tampa Bay fan. Yeah, I just would love some reason. Like he just ends up in Cleveland. Yeah. It ain't gonna happen. I know. That'd be a real expensive price tag. Him I, and Deshaun. Hey, take it. He turned his keys in, bro. I know. I know. All right, Jordan. Who what do you, you got when? <clears throat> Demar Hamlin, bro. He deserves it too. I thought about whoa, this. Whoa, I, whoa, shut whoa, the whoa, 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 whoa! No, I'm dead serious. Oh, bro, no. no, I really thought about this in depth, and I really like did some consideration. That's who I think will win. I don't reading. think he deserves, he deserves it. it. Listen, I think he deserves it. Yeah, I do. I will walk up this explain. podcast right now. I want now. you to explain why he deserves it. So, based off of the criteria of the award, it doesn't mean you have to come back and play well. That's not the only criteria. The criteria is coming back from major injury, just coming back, and playing yes he didn't play a lot yes he wasn't effective i think he was a healthy scratch every game because they really want to wave the dude but they would be destroyed yeah, who wants if they to be did. that team yeah that but i think he does deserve it i mean i think we are uh discounting the fact that uh he did indeed die on the field and i know he came back the next season everything was fine cool but like we've never seen that before dante it's never happened before I mean, like, he died and Dante. played the next year. It's not even him. <laughs> Jordan, what you got next? He's a club. I'm not okay. doing it. I'm it's not, not there's, there's even fucking him. That I wanted to talk about, and I was kind of confused why he wasn't, in, not in the finalist, but even, like, talked about for Comeback Player of the Year. John Mechie. Yeah, leukemia. He right? leukemia. I chose season. him to win comeback player of the year in the beginning of the season, but yeah, but I said he no didn't the play fuck well. You did. I did. I swear to God. Go back. Look, I picked John Mechie. That's crazy. Well, Derek, we're gonna make you do work. Insert the clip. Death trumps fuck. cancer survivor, though. Like if he would have died of cancer oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then got resuscitated yeah. somehow. And Bro, then what? <laughs> yeah, that was why. I'm just saying. That was why. The more died if he, he didn't really summoned. die. Yes, he did. No, he what if didn't. the NFL just staged that? He didn't die. He literally died. He did not die. He didn't actually die. Listen, he just like fainted I and they know. just said he had no heartbeat. I they were just making it build out. up like that. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> he literally died. I he know your wife out, is a nurse, bro. but he was I think literally... you have to like come back and play a key role at least. No, yes. no, because that's not. That's if not I get both my legs cut off and I'm an amputee and I'm walking out there on fucking peg legs, 
do I get the award the next season? If I play on, one play, based on yeah. the criteria, there's no fucking yeah. way you're on the team. Hey, you catch know, a pass. But I'm just saying, you catch a pass, even if it's behind the line of scrimmage, Screen you pass. get your leg blown off. <laughs> yeah, you deserve it. I'm like trying to hold up. <laughs> like you got shoes on, or your pegs just going into the. T- <laughs> like, they they have got, spikes on it. I got some. They got spikes on it. Yeah. Okay, his feet just look like a weed grinder yeah. <laughs> going into the ground. I can set a stiff arm. I just kick him with the leg. I think Demar Hamlin truly deserves it, but yeah. um. Hey, let's move on to our uh, Super Bowl prediction and stuff. Well, Go ahead, Jordan, though. Let's, I was let's... going to say, I got one more thing. Go ahead. Um, did you guys see who the Eagles open their season up against, or where they open up it, their season next season? But I see it. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I stutter a lot during that? I was trying to, like... I understood you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Brazil. Did you guys see where the Eagles open their season next year? There we go. Okay. Yes, in Brazil. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. And it's on a Friday night. Oh. Hey. Friday night. So we're going to have a Thursday... Friday, Friday Sunday. Sunday, Monday, opening week next season. Damn. Before oh. high school football, I assume. Hey, I'm telling you now, that game's gonna be garbage. Them game, them cats could be in a strip club. Them big booty Brazilians Jesus. looking <laughs> crazy, bro. All right, Super Bowl prediction. They ain't gonna know what to Shut do, up. bro. I'm serious. That's a real thing. It's like when players play in Vegas and stuff. They be playing trash. Lou Will. Did you guys see the? Let me The NFL Wood. told the Niners they have to deal with the field. Yeah. Even though they don't, like, I guess it's softer than what they want. <laughs> Suck it up. It passed. They said it passed the inspection, so they're good. Yeah, but the players were bitching about it, and they said he's got to deal with it. Just because it's not what you're used to. You want them to do? Cry. Yeah. Go outside in the parking lot. They're fixing the field for Taylor Swift. It's all right. Go touch grass. Ah. That's what I tell them. Oh, my God. So, Super Bowl predictions. Who wants to start? Do we want to just start at the top? Who wins the game? What, like, some yeah. props? What do, we, what do we want to do? I got, you I got, got four, four predictions we can do. Okay. I wanted to do best bet. You had to put one bet down on a bowl. What is it going to be? You know, but go ahead. What are your four things? So who do you think is going to win? Got you. The Chiefs. Oh, that you want me to just answer yeah, now? I'm going to go through them. Oh, uh, I think the best bet of the weekend, and I think the Chiefs is uh, going to win. So Chiefs money line, baby, plus money. I think it's the best bet. I think the storylines with Taylor Swift is just way too strong to ignore. You guys know what Super Bowl this is? Yeah. <sighs> 50, 58, 58, 58, 57, 58, something. It's 58. You know what five plus eight is? What is it? 13. 13. It's Taylor Swift's album called? <laughs> 13. Yo! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Dang. And guess what? Patrick Mahomes' dad got arrested for his third DUI, Chiefs by three. And, and he's facing Mahomes two to ten years, so he ain't going to Mahomes is going for his third Mahomes. Super Bowl ring too. Take his over in yards, third Super Bowl ring. He's, he's going to tie his dad's DUI record. The numbers add up. Chiefs money line is barbershop break room's best bet of the weekend. Jordan, who do you think is going to win? <laughs> I think the Chiefs will probably win too. Yeah. I think I chose them in the beginning of the year too. This is the matchup I chose. I forget who I had Gosh, winning. I hey. Um, you know ball. A little bit. And the Browns hey. record was pretty damn close. I'm going to go Chiefs, though. I think Chiefs win outright. Well, they're going to lose because we're all picking them again. Side yeah. note. You guys know the date of the Super Bowl? The third? 13th? It's the What's today's 11th. T- it's the 11th. Yeah. Of? February. February. Two, two times 11. 11. <laughs> two plus 11. 11 <laughs> plus 2. <laughs> yeah. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> this dude. That's crazy. Hey, who do, who are they playing? The 49ers. It's four plus nine. Dude, come on. <laughs> 13. 13. I'm just saying. That's crazy. What's your day? Hey. I'm waiting for Matt's prediction. Just, oh, Chiefs, bro. <laughs> hey, I, I got to change my 49ers. Hold There's on. no way it happens now. What seed are the 49ers? The one seed. What seed are the Chiefs? The two seed. No. Are they the three? Okay. One, One three. three. 13. <laughs> this dude is so stupid. All right, Yo, MVP. Stay off of TikTok, bro. Stay off of TikTok. Jordan, you stay off Twitter. You stay off of fucking TikTok. MVP. Hey, where's uh, Taylor Swift coming from? The 13th. Japan. Her 13th birthday. Tokyo. I don't know. She's coming she come from Tokyo to okay. the Super Bowl. What does that mean? Um... A flight from Tokyo to Las Vegas. It's 13 hours. It's 13 hours. <laughs> this is and I'm stupid. not even kidding. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not kidding. Hey, what number is Brock Purdy? 13. 
Yo, Niners yeah. money line. Brock Purdy stealing Taylor Swift. <laughs> and he leaves with Taylor Swift. Smacks her on the ass and everything, getting on the private jet. Speaking Gets of that, horse. did you guys see who the f- was it, Dan Orlovsky? Somebody said something about Travis Kelsey better be careful with Taylor Swift being at the Super Bowl because if she gets a glimpse of George Kittle, she's going to realize she's with the wrong one. George Kittle? George Kittle's been married for five years. His wife is pissed. That he said that. For real? Yeah. I mean, they be cheating. So she, like, she, she know. say something to Dan about it? I don't know. I just heard that, like, oh. I seen somebody said that his wife was going like, wild on Twitter. That, Twitter, that beef. Twitter be probably crazy, Dan bro. Dan Rolowski and Kittle's wife. We got to go get in the middle of that. <laughs> we got to get in the middle somehow. <laughs> Interview her, his wife. All right. What's your, ne- what's your next thing? MVP. Uh, Patrick Mahomes. Say it again. I fucked up the camera. Patrick Mahomes. MVP. But you picked the Niners to win. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Did I go back? Yeah, yeah. you did. After Matt started saying all the 13s. He don't even believe his own picks anymore. Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> okay. MVP. I didn't believe Pat in the first place. I didn't. Who's married to, or not married, who's dating Taylor Swift? Travis, Travis, Travis can't Kelsey. get it without. Oh, he's getting it. Yeah, if he catches three touchdowns, This is the perfect but storybook Holmes. ending for Travis Kelsey. It's a love story. And Maybe just say yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Travis Kelsey. Does he does propose? He have a blank space? Does, does he with propose Super Bowl yeah. ring? on the stage yeah. with his last Super Bowl ring? Yeah. Will you be my girl for life? Do you have a blank space? Baby. <laughs> That's my song. Because I'll write your name. <laughs> That's really my song. Me and my hey. daughter be going to that in the car. You know how many games Taylor uh, Swift has been to? 13. 13? 12. This is the 13th? <laughs> the Super Bowl will be the 13th. <laughs> is, this, is this all true? This, yeah, no, this is this all for real. I was like, I'm like bike. waiting you for You have like, to make this his own TikTok. Yeah, you have to cut like. Yeah. <laughs> I love how my dudes turned into a song though. Hey. hey. <laughs> yeah, and then he just asked the question. Go, you got one more? No. Who's all winning right. MVP? Who's winning MVP? Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Okay. Number 15. All right, Dante. What oh, hey. will be the opening coin toss? Tails. You, why you asked me that first? Because you've been because going first the whole fir- time. You've been going first this whole time. Yeah, what the fuck? I thought there was a innuendo behind that because he no. knows I'm trash with coin tosses. Oh, like, no. you already know, like, when it comes to a coin flip, I'll lose Come every on, time. bro. Jordan don't be thinking that hard. Well, listen, I want to say tails, but I'm just going to go opposite of what I would pick because I'm always wrong, so heads. And I'm going to go opposite of you. Tails never fails. I'm going to go heads. Tails never fails. Okay. You know I have, I, you I have another I question. And heads. I thought you said you were done. I have one more. Go ahead. It's 100 minus 13. 87. 87. Where'd the 100 come from, though? Your mama. 100, 100 <laughs> yards on a football field. Exactly. <laughs> Take 13 so away. So what's the significance of 87? Is that Travis Kelsey's number? Yeah, I was gonna say I don't remember his number. I'm a Browns yeah. fan. What this color will the Gatorade be? I knew you were gonna ask that. That's one of my other questions. Orange. Obviously, fucking be... red, dude. No. It wasn't red last time they won. It was orange. Yeah, but it's no. not like the team's color. Taylor Swift, bro. Because her album is red. We're burning red. It's gonna be blue. Be I was gonna say they're gonna fuck with you. It's gonna be blue or purple. It's gonna be red. Red. It's actually the clear one. Just looks like semen everywhere. That'd all be right. sweet. If you had to make one bet for the entire weekend, all the money in your bank account on this game. I know we've done no research at all. You don't know any numbers, no props, no nothing. Derek, what is your best bet of the weekend? Justin Reed, field goal made. Man, this guy, you are going to be homeless. <laughs> the kicker's going to get hurt. He's going to go out there and hit a fucking extra. You're going to be home. No, that is probably plus $20 million, I would bro. bet it would be fun. Anyways, Brock Purdy. Over uh, zero and a half interceptions. Okay. He's throwing one. Over but is it zero and a half or is it? It's, I it's think actually it is. a half. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is actually a half. So, yeah. Okay. Matt, so, what about you? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Jordan. The one that I've seen, I don't know what sports book it's on, mm-hmm. but you can bet on if. I got the chills. He bet <laughs> the pool Harlem something. Shook. <laughs> he bet the pool something crazy out. If Taylor Swift's outfit will show cleavage or not. <laughs> and I'm putting everything on now. She's a conservative. Does she hat? Never mind. Ah! No, not really. I look. Not really. <laughs> I look. Because, like, I, so Faith's one friend is, like, a huge Taylor Swift fan. So I sent her that, and she was like, that's fucking absurd. Plus, she doesn't ever show cleavage, so I would bet now. Yeah, she's a lady, bro. I don't do that. And then she said to look up all her outfits from, like, her tour. and Yeah. She don't no. show cleavage. No, hell no. 
Matt, what's your best bet? She gets real close to showing something else, though. A lot. Um, One bet for the weekend. What is it? Anna Fry's over in yards. Rushing. Who? Anna Fry. Yeah, probably. That'll hit on like one run, one rush. Yeah. Anna Fry's look yeah. like, you know who that is? Anna Fry. Brock oh, Brock, That's Brock Purdy. Purdy. I didn't know her name. Mm-hmm. Got you. This guy's not no, culture. Him either. Got you. You sorry, didn't know either? I sorry, not I don't know culture. about 15-year-old white women. Sorry. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 she whoa, is. whoa, whoa. I said whoa, no lies. Whoa, whoa. This I'm is going to sound crazy. Whoa. I think she's 16. <laughs> 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 now I'm guessing that's old enough for you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is going to... Age your consent, guys. Do you know the guy that does, like, the doll in the he has, like, a whole, like, documentary about that person? Has that dog in him? That dude did one of Anna Fry. That's crazy. So. Uh, my best bet is uh, something I've been playing all year. Don't even know what it is, but it's probably somewhere around 51, 53, 55. George Kittle. George Kittle's over in receiving yards, baby. He'll usually get <coughs> about two plays. I'm taking George Kittle's over. Put the house on it. Give us a real house. one. Jordan, a give real us one. a real one. You said a Taylor Swift Swiss Swiss cleavage. cleavage. We you ain't going to be able to bet that. That ain't going to be on fan, <laughs> Will titties be shown? Um, That's not going <laughs> to. Give me Kadarius Tony's over. Ah, you crazy. Kadarius Tony catching the touchdown. Hey, you really should take uh, MVS's over, though. The last three games. It it's was, been like eight. It's been like eight, bro. And then he has one big play. He's only good for one big play. Yeah. Like, it's only he either like catches it or he drops it. He's falling backwards. He's, 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 he's either a catch or a drop. Kadarius Tony said. That his Instagram was played with with AI, and he did not say those things. Ah, he's catching a touchdown. So take his over in yards. Hey, his over under is probably like four and a half. Dog, he probably don't even have an over under. Oh, what's your game? Let's, well, hey, wait a second. We got, uh, we got a couple minutes, about? like five more minutes. We got anything else to talk about though? No, we don't have time. It's eleven. What are you gonna say, Matt? Matt has something on his mind. Yeah, I can't remember now. You guys were interrupted. Fucking Technically, you interrupted. Oh, hey, what happened to Sky Moore? Is he hurt? He tore something at the beginning of the season? I think he got hurt. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Because he was like the return guy. He was, little, he was, Sky he was, was a speedy guy for him. Sky Moore started. Every, yeah, last no. time you said a little speedy guy, they were on your ass. He was starting. Yeah, who did I say that about? Rashad Fucking, Bateman. And what is he? He's. I think, like, Derek he's said like a, he, I think Derek said a word in there that... No, he said little speedy guy, but he's like 6'2". Oh, he ain't little. He's not. I little. didn't mean little as in like Tavon Austin. Little. Sky Sky Moore is a little, but like I, he had to have like torn something or. I thought he so, just got bumped out of rotation. No way, bro. That cat was a oh, starter. Oh no, he was on IR. He was on IR. Okay, that cat was a starter. Caught a Super Bowl touchdown last year. They got to get my dude Jarek McKinnon in the end zone immediately. I know he didn't get one. He slid. Yeah, he slid. So like, like fuck. they owe him. Yeah, he's like I they owe my dude a Super Bowl touchdown. Yeah. He's like, I won him the game with that slide, but shit, I didn't get a touchdown. Show him some love. You want a touchdown or a fucking ring, dude? Ring, baby. Both. Both of them. What you got for us, Jordy? Hit us with a game. How quick is it? Buy a cock ring. It should be pretty quick. Okay, hit us with it. Hit me with So I'm going to go. Hit us with the pick. There's three answers. I'll just go one, two, three. Shit. I got it. Can you name? Take away me. One. And what, take away me and what do you get? Shut one. Up. In three. <laughs> In three. Yeah. <laughs> You got to put that out today. <laughs> that TikTok has to be out today. Oh, right, sure. So there's three teams in the NFL. Three. That have symmetrical logos. Dude. You slice them vertically, they fold on each other on themselves. Motherfucker, okay. what? I know what you're can saying. Can you name all three? I can't. Or just name, name one of the three. Um, the Cowboys. Cowboys are one. Wouldn't the. The Commanders is just the W, right? Yeah, it's not them. Do they have the, the name and the logo? It's Do not they have symmetrical. Their name? Do they have the name and the logo then? One's no, a, the W isn't symmetrical. One it has like a, a, a jagged bigger. thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he said. <laughs> I don't fucking know. None in the AFC North. The Browns no. dog logo, maybe. Not even that. It's one. all the same. It's not their logo, though, technically. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. It's both NFC teams. Oh. Or no, one NFC, one AFC. I'm sorry. This guy is crazy. Colts. Colts are one. NFC. And then there's one more that's. I thought I got it with the Commanders. Wouldn't the like, Chargers the bolt? The be Chargers the same? bolt is also nah, not, it's not even. Cool. Yeah, that's not symmetrical. Oh. Yeah. Uh, DJ wants that design in his head. That's how I know. I've looked at it way too many times just to realize I can't do it. Um, so you have the Cowboys and the Colts. 
So there, and then the last one is the NFC. Yeah. Shit balls. If you do the Chicago Bears, flip it and then cut it in no. half. Man, Missy <laughs> Elliott trying to flip it in reverse and chill out, bro. If you cut it like this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then flip it. <laughs> nope. I got to be cut like this. That counts. Um, also, free Lee Sand. She in jail? She got arrested at a Matt Rife. Uh, who? The, no, not the yeah. goat. Who? Lisa, Lisa Ann. Ann. The throat oh, oh. I saw her getting arrested. I didn't know what it was for. <laughs> she was screaming, I'm here to see my friend Matt Ryan. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> you know she does sports talk radio and everything. Yeah. Like she really knows. Nah, she knows ball. They yeah. had her on Flagrant 2 one time. Ball. She knows ball. She knows her way around balls too, but. That's crazy. <laughs> she does. Bucks, you familiar with her game? Panthers. Who else is in that division? Falcons. Falcons. The Saints. Saints. Yeah. There we go. Saints are the other team. Uh, so there's your three no, teams. You're welcome. No, 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 no. You didn't think of that You're because I said we, that damn division. No. There you the go. Okay. All right, there we go. Saints, right. Cowboys, Colts are your three teams that are symmetrical logo-wise. Appreciate you. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Barbershop Break Room. Remember one thing. We know ball, and we know more than you because we have a podcast. Hey, guys. Let's start a podcast. Shot break room.